always told that if life were a journey of a thousand miles, to always make sure to smell the roses along the side of the road. Because, because it's the little things that make the journey that much shorter. I mean, do you really love me? You know I do. How do you know you really love me? How do you know it's really love? I just know. My heart tells me so. Your heart tells you so? Yeah. And what does your heart say to you, Damian? She's the one for you, you should keep her around. And then you say, oh, thank you for your advice. I'll see you later. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Come on, I could be some other girl. How often does your heart talk to you? What? How often? This is crazy. My girlfriend is a nut. Menank? I said I'm glad you're waking up. <laughs> Well, that jerk in a rush bumped into me and made me drop my bags. After that, I don't know. I was kind of drawn in your direction. Then I saw you. Why didn't you talk to the girl in the blue top? What girl in the blue top? The really attractive one who came in shortly after the guy bumped into you. If that guy hadn't bumped into you that day, do you think he would have come talk to me? It couldn't have happened any other way. I guess fate made him bump into me, causing me to look your way. Oh, live here, I'm negative here. No, 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 I'm sorry, booby. I just think for a second. If that guy hadn't been reading the newspaper, then he would have been able to see where he was going, and he wouldn't have bumped into you, right? I suppose, but... Well, what if it never happened? wouldn't have that. And you would have no doubtedly noticed the girl in the blue top. You two would have exchanged numbers. Planned your first date, maybe to a nice restaurant or something. Or knowing you, maybe not. But either way, within a few weeks, more dates would follow. You two would become closer. Probably move in together. Years pass, you two get married, have several kids, and start a large family together. You would be her, Bubuye. Yes, maybe. And I'd be lying right here where I am. You should be right there where you are. Asking me the same question. What? Hey, who knows? You could fall deeply in love with that jerk that bumped into me. Maybe, just maybe, somehow, the lunar eclipse on Jupiter's fifth moon could have shifted some galactic dust which could have felt the Earth. It could have landed on the back of his neck. And at that moment that he turns to scratch it, he sees you. There you are. <laughs> are you making fun of me? Yes. All this hypothetical talk has got me a little hungry. Let's go get something to eat. Okay. Now, studies have shown that Jupiter's fifth moon is kind of mysterious, you know? Or the black and the earthquake. That stuff has got to hit. Whatever. You know I love you. 